What is up, Sensi fans? It's Patricia, and welcome to another week of Tester Tuesday, and we are diving into some of the Sensi holiday bricks this week. And interestingly enough, we had a tie for first place, so we are gonna do both of those scents this week, so let's get started. All right, let's talk about our first place scent for the week. I'm putting it in alphabetical order, just to be fair. It's gonna be Forever Flannel. This one had 26% of the vote, like I said, tied. It's a baby blue colored wax, and on cold sniff, it's between light and maybe shy of medium. It is a lighter scent on cold sniff. Sensi has put this in the fresh category. And if you do not want to get it in brick size, you can actually put it in your Scentsy Club to get it in bar size. So the scent description says, get comfy with soft lavender, warm sandalwood, and inviting touch of bergamot. I agree with this scent description almost fully. It is very comfy. To me, it doesn't read laundry. Some fresh scents are like laundry fresh. This is cozy fresh. There's a difference to me. Laundry is sometimes sharper, more soapy. This is very calming, great for bedrooms. So there is lavender in it. And if you've known me for any amount of time, you know I'm not a lavender fan, but the lavender in here is very soft. It's muted and it's kind of like a gentle level lavender. It doesn't read herbal, it doesn't read soapy. It's just a level, almost like a sweet lavender. And the warm sandalwood, I think, is what is giving it some creamy complexity. Also, they talk about bergamot. Bergamot is a citrus, and it can sometimes lend a masculine-leaning aspect to a scent. I don't, get, I don't get that in here at all. I don't get any masculine tones. I don't get bergamot. I don't get that. Now, on Cold Sniff, what this reminded me of, first instinct was coconut cotton. It reminded me of coconut cotton, but take out a little bit of the coconut and add lavender sweet sweetness instead. I still kind of think that. This does smell like, and, and Hannah Blazin, I just watched her video yesterday, and she said it was like Christmas at the beach. And I, I do feel it's very similar to coconut cotton. And I don't really think I've heard that in any videos, but a few of my viewers have mentioned that to me as well. So I have a note, muted sweet lavender, creamy sandalwood, almost like a little bit of vanilla influence. I don't get bergamot. Reminds me a lot of the coconut cotton. So yeah, sometimes something like this might be easier to talk about what it's not. It's not a fresh, soapy laundry. It is more of a cozy style laundry bedroom. It is not bergamot heavy, which leads masculine. It is more of a soft, muted, calming type of scent. And it, unfortunately, it's not very strong. So let's jump into performance. I warmed, I did make some samples, but I, I warmed some of this in Drew's room. I think I warmed the top and I split it in half. So that's about three and a half cubes. If you need to check out my, <laughs> how much is in cu each cube video, I'll try to remember to link that in the comments below. So in Drew's room, which usually thrives with the most scents, this was between four and a half and five out of 10, between two really good performing warmers. The first day I left it going 17 hours. I did try it another day and the scent payoff wasn't great enough. So I would say I probably got around 17 to 18 hours of good scent and then very minimal scent. When I say good scent, I could still smell it, but it was just the more gentle four and a half to five. In saying that, this would definitely be a company friendly scent, but I would not put this in an open layout because that four and a half to five in my open layout would probably go down to like a two out of 10. So I did also warm it in my daughter's room um, her room, it was probably closer to four out of 10 and I left going 19 hours. I have a note very late here. did not perform well or did not seem to perform long. So I left it going one full day and then removed it. Usually I leave most things going two days in her room, but I just left it going one day. So one thing I will say is this does not read necessarily as holiday to me. It re reads something you could warm year round. So that is an incredible value and a bonus because bricks give you more value for your money. Even though this is smaller than our traditional bricks, still a great value and a great deal. So will I be repurchasing Forever Flannel? Um, I'm unsure, I think no, just because of the performance, but I did really, really like it. It's a really nice scent, just a little too light. All right, let's talk about scent number two for the week. It is Holly Jolly Cider, tied for first place. This is a red colored wax. It's about medium to medium plus on intensity when you smell it on cold. And Sensi has put this in the spice category. I might argue it could go in a few categories. It could go in fresh, woods, fruity, or spice. So let's read the scent description. Sensi says, warm apple cider infused with cinnamon stick and a whiff of evergreen. 
So for me, the very first thing I get is evergreen, and I don't find it's just a whiff, it's a good portion of the scent, I would say at least half. And it's a very nice, pleasant evergreen. If you like tree scents, I think you're gonna like this. Okay, then it talks about the warm apple cider. I'm just gonna say that if there's apple in here, I'll take the word for it, but to me it more, more reads like a fruit cider. So maybe there's an apple cider and they chucked in a bunch of fruits, especially red berries, a lot of red berry influence in here. And because of those two things, I feel like it's very close, but it's a little bit more intense and punchy than red berry and spruce. So I would say it's not as intense as Be Merry, uh, a little bit more intense than red berry and spruce. It's kind of in between. So yes, I find it says Holly Jolly Cider, but I feel like it's more of a fruit cider, evergreen scent. There is some spice there, but it's well supported and it's not overwhelming. Now in saying that, I do enjoy spice, so you have to take my word with a grain of salt. Yeah, I enjoy this one. It's really, really nice. So I would say scent appeal is pretty good for me. Open concept, I decided to put some in. That's why a lot is missing. And I did make samples and I also warmed it in my TV room. So my open layout, it was about seven to seven and a half out of 10. I have a note here, it performed fairly good for the first four to five hours. Then I went a little bit nose blind to the scent. I could pick it up better when I had left the area and came back into the area, but it wasn't something that once you're sitting in it, I kind of lost it after a while. So I did leave it going eight and a half hours the first day and I tried it a second day for another eight hours. It wasn't strong enough on the second day to you know, build any momentum at all, unfortunately. Now, the next spot I warmed it was my upstairs TV room, which is about a medium sized space in my home. It performed very, very well there between eight and nine out of 10. The first day I left it going 12 hours. I tried it again for another day. It just seemed too light. And I, I thought to myself, why bother? It's so light, I can't really smell it. So I got a good 12 hours at least out of this. And this might be one that does better if you don't turn it off, I'm not sure. But this one reminded me, like I said, in between Be Merry and Red Berry and Spruce. Now Be Merry is a great open concept space for me. Red Berry and Spruce is a good bedroom scent for me. So this is kind of an in-between scent for me. And what I mean by that is it's a medium space. So it would be good for Drew's room or, or the TV room, I would say, for sure. And it does read holiday because of the evergreen. There's a nice berry uh, apple influence and there's the spice. So it is really, really nice. Will I be repurchasing this one? I'm unsure. I might possibly pick up one or put it in my Sudsy Club to get a bar, but it's not one that I want to stock up on, but I did really enjoy it and I think they did well with these two scents. So that's good. All right, let's move to the portion of the video where I'm gonna to present to you some scents and you guys are gonna vote. If you're new to my channel, you're gonna pick two different scents by early Wednesday morning. Put your votes down in the YouTube comment section and if you can't vote on YouTube, you can find my Instagram post. It's Patricia Gates and put your two votes there. All right, so we're gonna do some wrapping up this week. We're gonna wrap up the holiday with the last two scents as voting options. Oh, the, the sun's coming out, I'm so sorry. Scent number one is gonna be Cherry's Jubilee. I'm too lazy to bring the blind down, so you're just gonna to have to deal with me looking very <laughs> angelic. Scent number two is gonna be Sleigh Ride. So those two I have not warmed. Scent number three is gonna be from the Bricks. It is Candy Apple. Scent number four is also from the Bricks. It is Orange Spice and Everything Nice. And the last two scents are gonna be from the Scents of the Season collection. I believe I have Tester Tuesday sends out now on three of the five, and these are the only two I do not. So scent number five is gonna be Caramel Praline Cake. And scent number six is going to be Frosted White Pine. So thanks for spending the last few minutes with me. I hope you have a great day in your neck of the woods. Please take care and don't forget to vote, and I'll see you guys in the next video.